Hi, I'm Max Hamrick. I'm the dyer and the weaver at the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation, of course, in Williamsburg, Virginia. Uh, over the past 25 plus years, I've been working with professional 18th century dyes, dyes that would allow me to change the color of a gentleman's suit or a lady's ball gown, dyes that in England were being used before the American Revolution as the professional dyes to do the coloring. Put together this book along with the American Quilters Society. I had an extremely good photographer. Of course, I think that the writing in the book is extremely well because I did it myself, but I also want to brag about my photographer and the editors of the American Quilter Society because they've done an excellent job of assembling this book in a manner that I think that you would be proud to look through and to have over a long period of time. I come to Grand Rapids today and I've brought a good many of the things that we use to color textiles professionally in the 18th century. Uh, down here I've got Brazil wood. It gives you a burgundy. Two or three yellows, the seed of the anatto plant will give you yellow. Fustic, which is the root of the fustic bush from South America, just like the anatto seed, South America, Spain, England, us. Turmeric, which is from India to England to us. The root of the matter plant, which will grow almost anywhere, uh, so the English brought it with them to the North American colonies. Logwood, which is the heartwood of the Campeche tree. Another dye from Spain's realm of conquest in South America. One of the more exciting dyes, the cochineal, made out of dried insects. I'm told by experts that it takes 70,000 bugs to make a pound of red dye. We got it from England, who got it from Spain, who got it from South America. It was used to color red anything. Red paint, red ink, ladies' red lips and cheeks, as well as food coloring in the 18th century. The green that I have here is a turmeric yellow, top dyed with indigo, which would have traveled from South America to Spain to England to us, or from South Carolina to England to us. Local dyes that were for professional use are walnuts, the husk of the walnut gives you a deep brown, and oak bark was used for a lighter brown in 18th century Virginia. Those are just some of the dyes that we talk about. And once again, please take a look at our book. I think you'll find it to be fun. I'm really proud of it, and I hope you'll like it.